I got paper. I got questions. You guys got answers? We think so. Okay. So I asked my Patreon, if you had the chance to sit down with a professional van builder and ask them one question, I think someone asked like 30 in the same message, one question, what would that question be? So today we got some professional van builders. Are you professional van builders? Good enough. <laughs> All right. First question. Why would you want to ask a professional van builder this? Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Do you have beer in your cooler? Well, we don't have a cooler. We have a fridge, but yes, we have beer. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>All right, next question. Actually, I'm gonna let this, let me leave this up to you. So the next question was, what do you do to protect your solar panels in hail? We don't do anything because uh, if the solar panels are actually made by a credible manufacturer, they are meant to handle hail. They can handle a golf ball size hail. So if your panels crack, then chances are that it was really bad and the rest of your vehicle is gonna be really bad. <laughs> And we've experienced an immense number of hailstorms. It felt like when yes. we were in Colorado in particular, we had a stunning number and, and an intensity that as an Ontarian, as a Canadian, I hadn't experienced. No. Like cover the lawn in hail. And it certainly sounded very loud in the van. Yes. Um, but there was no damage, no issue. And we've learned that you, you don't have to fear hair. Truly, if the hail is bad enough to break your panels, it's not the only thing that's damaged. And our van's also been through a hurricane and our I panels are still fine. Golf ball size hail? That was a weird fact I didn't know. <laughs> I learned something today. Okay, next question. Next question. Can your clients do part of the work saving money but getting your guidance? So I'll do a two-part answer. For Ray Outfitted, the answer is yes. We work with lots of DIYers and that's certainly one of the ways we work. We do consults um, and let them do their full build or you can do some of it and coordinate with us for other parts of it. But typically the answer from a professional upfitter the answer is grounded in insurance. Liability-wise, it's really hard for companies to do this and be fully insured. So it will depend. You'll find a lot of upfitters. The answer will be they can't allow it. Um, custom solar versus an all-in-one solar kit. Well, that's a good question. What one's better? Uh, it comes down to the size of your system. And what your needs are because if you're just looking for a couple little things, then definitely the all-in-one systems work great. If you're looking to power, uh, like basically- Induction cooktops, uh, ACs, Vitamix blenders. Yeah, uh, it, it, uh, look into what the inverters are in the all-in-ones. Uh, as Chrome will tell you, the Jackeries work great. And uh, there's the other companies out there, Go Power, um, Kodiak. Kodiak. They all work really well. And here, yeah, there they are. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time to talk about Jackery. We got 60 seconds on the clock. Let's go. All right. So you, sorry, guys. Am I, am I interrupting? No, <laughs> so you guys know I'm big fans of these. And I know everybody's got their own opinions on these things. But I like this. I've had this one since the very beginning. It's been a year and a half. This thing has been depleted to zero like 50 times because I'm bad at that stuff. So when it comes to a product that can just take a beating and just turn on when you need it, I like these. So if you guys are interested in the Jackery products, they always give me discount codes every single month and I share them with you in these little 60 second times that you see these nice bright orange things on camera so the links to these jackeries are down below sorry to interrupt this video okay boys you guys girls you guys can come back in now and i'll just slowly just kind of uh, jackery promo codes down below <laughs> <laughs> that was good right sorry to interrupt <laughs> But uh, yes, the uh, all-in-one systems are great for what, depending on what you need. If you are looking to do a big beefy system and you want more than four or 500 amp hours of lithium batteries, then no, the all-in-one systems aren't for you. You need to build a full custom system. So it all comes down to personal preference and what your requirements are for this.
And budget. Yeah. Budget as well, yes. Uh, next question, and it's one that you could talk for many hours and still not be able to answer as an automotive mechanic. How do you buy a used vehicle well, and what is the best van for van life? Uh, the best van for van life is any van that you choose. Chrome's van. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I should just stop like video no, bombing. <laughs> it's great. So the reality is it comes down to your preference, your budget, your goals. Um, certainly an automotive mechanic will give you opinions on how you can assess a used vehicle, making sure you have warranties, some of that. But there's no one best van. And if you speak to van owners, men, they'll tell you pro, a ProMaster owner. Sorry say guys, the pro I'm, I'm the just adjusting this. <laughs> Are you getting revenge from another van? No, I'm just adjusting. Sorry. <laughs> Stay out of the shot. My bad. Okay, keep Do you want to run another jackery ad quickly <laughs> through? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> but it all depends on whether you want to stay in cities, whether you want to be out boondocking all the time. Do you... Gas or diesel, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, four do, by four. Do you want to be able to stand up in it or can you stand living on your knees? So it's all it all comes down to what you want to do. Look at those things. Look at that shit. Look at that. That's a... Look at it. Van life is hard. <laughs> So, I'd like to point out that the two shorties in the frame. Look how bad here, that is! <laughs> I'd just like to point out the two shorties in the frame have the high roof vehicle. And they have the smoothest knees. <laughs> yeah. My knees are pretty good shape. <laughs> Those are bad today. That's impressive. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and as for buying a used van, uh, if you have the ability to look at the maintenance records on it, it is a good idea because if the van was not properly maintained, it could cost you more in the long run. Higher mileage is not something to be scared of. If a van is higher mileage, people had to maintain it to get it there. So the high mileage ones are not a bad idea. The low mileage ones, especially diesels, can be bad if they were owned by hotels or uh, in local inner companies yeah. that just drove them inner city because the engines never worked diesel engines want to work. So high mileage is usually a good uh, idea for them. Mm -hmm. uh, gas engines can run at in city, but you don't want something that was started and stopped very short runs. Mm -hmm. So if you have a chance to see the maintenance records, that is something that you would want to do. On that note, because an automotive salesman will typically tell people different, and I've learned from you, when they tell you there's a clean Carfax, that means it's accident free. This is incorrect. Uh, Carfax is a division that will report vehicle collisions if it has been put through insurance. If it was not put through insurance and paid for cash by the company, then it will not show up. So take a look at the vehicle, look for paint differences, look for panels not lining up correctly, look for a cracked tail light or something like that, and, or if a fender doesn't line up with the door correctly. So just take a good look around your vehicle, make sure that you feel comfortable with it. At the end of the day, even an experienced mechanic can look at it and not see something that's going to come up. You just have to feel comfortable with the van that you pick. Yeah, and that's all the questions we were given. This video today is brought to you guys by Bananas. Here's a helpful tip on learning how to open up a banana. Don't open it up from this side because a true primates squeeze the the nipple of it and then you pull it this way discount codes on the bananas are down below oh, oh that, was, that was a bit too long oh that was i think that made it far better put too much in your mouth that's it that is the all the questions we were asked how much time we got here oh well, it's a good video do you have any questions for us you have a banana you want to bring You're gonna be an animal. Whoa, easy now. This guy's not in touch with his internal priming. <laughs> so if you guys have any more questions for them, sorry guys, just, you guys seem, look how short you look right here. <laughs> <laughs> They're not really actually that short. I'm just, so if you guys have any more questions that you guys think we might wanna throw in a video or just do another random one like this one, Throw them in the comments on this one. I don't care how bizarre they are. 
Let's make the next one for all three of us and maybe we'll just kind of just go bananas together. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> all right. I'm going to leave you guys with this. Ready? Open up. Oh! I want to thank my friends at Ray Outfitted for being a part of this video. I know being friends with a full-time YouTuber is not easy because I'm always shoving my camera in your face. But I want to thank you guys for always sharing your expertise and knowledge with my audience, hoping to make their van life journey just a little bit easier. Thank you guys. Also, check back on this channel on March 2nd as I will be showing you guys the brand new Jackery Explorer 1000 battery. Also, discount codes for all the Jackery stuff is in the description of this video. Alright, thanks for watching you guys. Peace out.